we found him first thing in the morning. Yay! I went over to him and expected him just to jump up. Thank you. Every attempt he made to stand up, he would come crashing on the ground. I knew something was up because babies get up quickly and they're attempting to nurse and they're on their feet. We reacted pretty quickly. We made our phone call to the vet. We arrive at the vet and they administer nutrients. We were going to do whatever it took. Finally, he starts suckling out of the bottle. He said, he's getting it. He's learning how to drink. <laughs> he wasn't you know, latched onto her yet, but he was able to stand and to walk. We're thinking, he's running with his mother. We couldn't believe he was so stable. And he comes back and crashes, and we had to rush him to the vet for the second time. We found out that if a baby didn't get squeezed exactly right as they came out of the birth canal, some chemicals hadn't been turned off. Oh, wake up those little legs. The vet put him through this squeeze procedure with the ropes wrapped around him. He came out and he slowly started gaining his equilibrium. Come on, buddy. We got pretty close at the vet's office with him trying to latch on with their assistance. We headed back home and we started teaching him and showing him the mother's udders. That was so good. Yep, 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 yep. That moment of him finally getting it and you could hear him drawing that milk, it meant that he, he was gonna live, he was gonna survive. Good sign, you guys. So rewarding to see them being a mother in a foal for the first time without us intervening. You can just see the love they have and the bond they have. For them to run around together and buck and play, it's just wonderful. There is hope in a lot of situations if you just give it some time and love and patience, you can pull through.